The RTX 2060 is probably one of the weirdest products that Nvidia has released in the past few years. While it performs excellently when put up against the GTX 1070, it sits in a weird place when stacking it up against the likes of the current RTX lineup. For being considered a mid-range offering, it's also quite expensive and out of the reach of many consumers. Fortunately though, leaks and rumors have been surfacing for the past couple of weeks, hinting at a new GTX card to bring to the masses. So with that in mind, what even is this rumored card, and can it actually happen? Last week, the RTX 2060 dropped, and despite what a lot of us thought, it's actually a pretty decent mid-range card. Pricing-wise, it's a little funky, but the performance backs up Nvidia's claims of this being a capable DXRT card. But when stacking it up against the likes of the 2070, the value proposition of this card crumbles. For $350, the price of this card is already more than $100 more than the previous generation mid-range king, the GTX 1060. And when comparing it to its biggest rival, the GTX 1070, the pricing kinda lines up to give us 1070 class performance at 1070 pricing. Not to mention, $350 is kinda a lot to ask for for a mid-range offering, especially when the full-fat GTX 1060 6GB launched with an MSRP of $250. So with the pricing being so strange, this leaves a gap in the market that isn't really being tapped into. Now the likelihood of a cut down RTX 2050 being released seems to be the obvious choice, but with the DXRT performance of the 2060 being so poor in comparison to its much bigger brothers, it's kinda hard to think that a chip that's cut down even further could even run this demanding feature at reasonable settings and resolution. Now the alternative to this idea has been floating around ever since the 2080 Ti launched back in September, but we're just now starting to get some leaks that are pretty believable. Now, now, keep in mind that although these are leaks, the RTX 2060 specs and pricing were leaked about a month before it released. So although these should be taken with a grain of salt, these sort of leaks have proved to be pretty reliable in the past. So the main thing that I'm most interested in is the naming. For whatever reason, the branding of these cards has varied widely depending on the source, ranging from the GTX 1160 all the way to the GTX 1660 Ti. It seems like there's no common consensus as to what the name of this card will be. Either way, the one thing that most sources agree on is the specs. With 1,536 CUDA cores and 6 gigs of GDDR6 on a 192-bit bus, the leak spec list we have is very limited, and we're missing a lot of minute information that can give us a view into the rasterization operation performance, texture mapping capabilities, and general clock speeds, meaning that our look into the possible performance window of this card is pretty limited. But if I had to make an educated inference, I'd put the performance class of this card somewhere around the 1070. Now, leaked pricing has also varied from source to source, with some saying that this card will go for as little as $230, and others saying it will be more in line with the 1066 gig pricing at around the $250 mark. Either way, this card will be significantly cheaper than the 2060. Now, another rumor that I've seen a couple of times is the idea that Nvidia will release a cut down card, similar to what they did with the 1060 back in 2016. Now, this rumor didn't come with a spec list, so in all actuality, it's probably more of a guess than a rumor. But based on what Nvidia has done in the past, it doesn't really seem too out of the ordinary, especially since the name 1660 Ti implies that it's an upgrade over a base card. Now what a lot of sources do agree on is the release window of this card, placing it to be announced at GDC 2019 and releasing sometime after. So from the rumors it seems like a new mainstream card will be coming from Nvidia in the near future. Now what it's called, whether it's the GTX 1160 or 1660 Ti, is kind of irrelevant at this point in time. Really, the only thing that matters is the concept of the card, which has been rumored and leaked since September of last year. Ever since the reveal of the RTX lineup, a lot of consumers have been asking for a DXRT disabled mainstream card, because, let's face it, only a handful of games even support the new and expensive feature. Most people just want to play games, and it seems like Nvidia is finally starting to realize it 5 months later. Whether it's the GTX 1160, GTX 1660 Ti, or even the GTX 1260 Ti, most of us can get behind a great value mid-range offering. Not only do the leaked specs hint at great performance, but at 1060 pricing, it'll be interesting to see what Nvidia brings to the table now that AMD is starting to catch up in the high-end space. All we can do now is wait, but based on what we've been hearing so far, I'm eager to see what comes of this, and I can't wait to see what Nvidia brings to the mid-range table. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also tell us, what do you think about the new rumored card? Do you like the name and are you even interested in seeing this card release? We can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.